All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level ones, yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. International. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? These guys throwing early. Man, look at him load up on that right. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, 
unable to connect with the right hook. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Just misses with the left hook. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Straight right, he misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lunges forward with a left there. Unable to connect with the right. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. All right, he engages in the single collar die. Stuff to take down, no problem. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Superman punch. <laughs> Clean left punch followed by the right. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Win this round, I need you to get the takedown. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, nice jab. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice punch here. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. That was the end. Nice. Oh! He's, hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice jab by him there. He's going to know something tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this one. Round two is next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Okay, you ready, round two? Ready? Here we are, early round two. Good punch, land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And just misses with that big right hand. Left-right combo is good. Punch is blocked. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. That right.
right hand hurt him a little bit. Good punch. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Right hand on point. All right, so he's... Oh! Wow! fantastic to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. And there comes the separation now. Nice kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. A little single collar tie there. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. How about that shin? Oh! He's out! Wow! Wow! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We send it inside the Ladies octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official contest, decision. Contest at two minutes, five seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.